Hi, welcome to Black Online. Today I'd like to show you a new 2014 Durango we just got in. It's a brand new floor plan. It's a 36 foot. As you see, it does have two doors on it. The second door will lead into the half bath. As you can see right now, I'm standing under the awning. The awning is an electric awning. It is lighted up with the top, so I mean, you just flip the button and this whole porch area right here will light up at night. You got your assist grab handle, triple step entries. Of course, on the outside right here, we got exterior speakers. One of my favorite things are these frameless windows. Uh, they've just come out with these frameless windows, but they really, really look sharp. And not only that, uh, they, you're not going to have any water build up in the tracks or anything like that. So it's to help prevent, you know, any water leaks as well. Um, got the outside kitchen on this unit, which I mean, everybody this day and age is hollering they want this outside kitchen you got a refrigerator of course microwave you got your stove right here you could burn a cook stove on the outside hook up a tv right here uh, a lot of different possibilities you do have a sprayer right here that hooks up i mean you got a lot of different things going on right there but a really nice outside kitchen great for entertaining uh, also, another feature on this unit I really got to show you is the automatic leveling system. Right here in the storage area, as you can see, it's a huge, massive storage area, but you got the auto level system. You just turn it on, hit one button, it's going to level it for you so you're not out here having to do a lot of work in the hot sun. Come on inside, let me show you the interior. Right here, of course, you see is the living room area. We've got um, one slide out right here. Of course, uh, right here, you've got your table and four chairs. It does have the uh, extension, so you can extend that out if you got more people eating. Of course, I really like the, uh, the little appointments they've done in the Durangos this year. That's a really nice touch. Uh, Right over here, of course, is your kitchen area. In your kitchen right here, a lot of cabinets. I'm going to shut this door real quick. Just to let that, keep that light from messing up the camera. But uh, you've got a lot of cabinets in here. Really deep cabinets as well. Um, of course, right here is one of my favorite features. they got the solid surface countertops. Really makes it real nice. Holds up. Very durable. That's what KZ is all about, trying to build a camper that's going to last you, not something you're going to buy and tear up in just a few years. But like I said, you can see just how many cabinets there are all through here, drawers right down here. Uh, the large refrigerator, the double door refrigerator right here, absolutely love this. Got the his and her freezers up on top as I call them. But I mean just an absolutely huge amount of... Uh, refrigerator space right there. Pantry space in this camper is just absolutely unreal. You have this up here, this down here, of course the cabinets I showed you in the kitchen, but then again look over here. You got another full pantry right here. You got three very large drawers right there. So I mean you got tons and tons of pantry space in this unit, which I just absolutely love. Then right here, this is just your coat closet, place to come in, hang up your coats or whatever, but you got another closet right there. All your controls right here, real easy, all labeled, just hit a button. Um, just, I mean, a great thing right there. Here's that um, switch I was telling you about earlier. That is for the lights on the awning. You just turn it on, and of course the LED strip comes on out there. Right over here, this is an uh, option that we put in, the very first one we've done, is the theater seating. This uh, theater seating, yeah, go ahead and shut these, move these out of the way, but this theater seating right here is actually two recliners, so you can just kick back and recline and just really have a nice uh, resting uh, at the end of the day in front of the TV right here. You got the nice 32 inch LCD TV, got the DVD surround sound right here so it's going to play all throughout here so if you've been out playing all day you want to come in relax get out of the sun maybe watch a movie great place to do it right there another thing I really like about this TV let's say mom's over here she's been or she's cooking all day but she wants to watch her shows 
Well, she can turn that TV right there, just like that, to where she can be working and see that TV real easy. Back here is all about the kids. Nice large bunk room. You've got three large bunks right here. Of course, a ladder to help them get up over here. A place for a television if they want to kick back and relax and watch a movie of their own. Of course, storage space all throughout everywhere they can. Storage space right up underneath this bunk. That's a huge storage compartment. That's just all clear right below there. And then, of course, they got the half bath I was talking about right here. Nice large half bath. Of course, you can come in, come into the half bath from the outside, so they don't have to track up all through your camper. Just use the restroom. But you got your vanity sink right here. Of course, your toilet right there. Their own medicine cabinet. So I mean, they've got everything they need without bugging mom and dad right there. Come on up here, and oh, just saw this. This right here is a new feature also. It's a fantastic fan, which has been out a while, but this controller right here, completely thermostat controlled, really does a great job. If you want to, um, right up here, you can see the fan, but if you wanted to, you know, come in here and let's say, you know, you're just setting up and it's just hot in here, turn that on, suck that hot air out, really makes a big difference. But come on up here, let me show you this bathroom, mom and dad's bathroom. They've got, <coughs> of course, the large shower right here, I mean just a huge shower right here, mom can actually sit down and shave her legs, you got the uh, skylight up above right here, the porcelain foot flush toilet right there, large sink with the large medicine cabinet, so I mean you got quite a bit of bathroom space right here, then a very very deep uh, closet right here as you can tell, so I mean some good linen storage right there as well. Back up here, of course, this is going to be the master bedroom. Turn some lights on here. And that's another thing. This does have the 12 volt um, lighting package, which really helps brighten everything out, but also uses less amps so your power can go to things like air conditioning and things like that. Does have a second air conditioner here in the bedroom. You got a 15,000 main AC and a 13,500 BTU. Uh, air conditioner in the bedroom. Uh, right here of course you got your queen bed. It is a you know like I said full queen bed right here. It does have storage up underneath it here. Real easy to get to with those struts. More cabinet space or more drawer space right here. Uh, plus good place you know to set all your stuff now. More cabinet space here. Now here just more storage space or you can put a combination washer and dryer right here so if you do decide you want a washer and dryer you can't fit one in right there. Of course the uh, large closet right here just got the two sliding doors but I mean you've got plenty of hanging clothes, uh, clothes space right here also a place for a television in here and people one thing I always try to stress is quality and I mean with the KZ product there are things that are really great about it that really make it hold up and last like the plywood floors, the vinyl roof. I mean plywood really means a lot in these campers but another thing that I really don't mention a whole lot of, well, and I probably should is everywhere they put a cabinet or everywhere they put a place like this well the aluminum studs in there uh, KZ had a big problem at first. They couldn't figure out, okay, if you put a screw into a piece of aluminum, what's going to stop it from backing out? Well, some manufacturers just use a rubber grommet, but over time that wiggles and cuts that grommet. So anywhere they're going to put a cabinet in, you got the aluminum studding, but wherever they're going to put that screw, there's actually a piece of wood put into that aluminum studding for the screw to bite into. So that way you get a cabinet that you can you know, not have to worry about going to come off the wall. It's actually going to stay there. And they do that with every cabinet throughout. So everything's got a real good solid, um, you know, solid thing there to bite into to where it's going to last and hold up a lot longer uh, to where, I mean, you come in here, you're not going to see a gap right there on any of the cabinets. But uh, like I said, this unit right here is a fantastic unit. It's got three slide outs on it. It's got a lot of extras on it like that theater seating, the uh, 
course, the countertop, the solid surface countertop, the outside kitchen, electric jack, um, you know, electric stabilizers. It's got really a lot of options on it, but if you have any questions on it, please give us a call at 334-742-9160. Thank you.